Now to the latest happening in Ukraine. Fears of a global disaster following Russian shelling and a fire at a large nuclear power plant in southern Ukraine. The fire is out, but reports claim that workers are being held hostage inside. And while attacks ramp up around the country, the civilian death toll is soaring, forcing even more people to flee. Lauren Blanchard has more from Poland. Russian troops capturing Europe's largest nuclear power plant. Their assault on Ukraine seemingly far from over. Heavy shelling at a critical nuclear power plant sparking a blaze. Firefighters got a handle on the flames and smoke as Russian troops took control of the facility. We have to act in consequence. So for us, the IEA, it is time for action. The International Atomic Energy Agency confirming no radiation was released. Still, global concerns of a nuclear catastrophe remain high. It alone could be as dangerous as six Chernobyls. This is terror on an unprecedented level. Secretary of State Antony Blinken in Brussels, along with NATO and European Union leaders, all condemning the attack. This just demonstrates the rec recklessness of this war and the importance of uh, ending it. On Friday, Russian President Vladimir Putin warned neighboring nations not to interfere. Russia's attacks growing more brazen, reducing cities to rubble. The harsh reality from which more than a million have escaped, creating a humanitarian crisis not seen in decades. I tell my mom that I, I, I will go to a boat uh, to save my life. Mom was crying and told me that, that maybe she never see me again. UNICEF reporting 500,000 children have fled along with their families, many of them ending up at refugee centers just like this one nearby the Ukrainian border.